Day everyone, thanks for joining us here in the charts. This is the market beast, Napoleon Macro, never micro. So we're gonna be doing an update on the two stocks that we're currently betting against. So we'll make this really short. It's gonna be Clorox and Sprouts Farmers Market. We have price levels, time frames, etc. So yeah, it'll be a short video. So let's get right into it, guys. Welcome back, loyal family. If you're new here, we only explore price action. Thanks for sticking around. I'm a lawyer subscribers. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here. So today's up. June the 29th, 2024. In the previous close of Clorox, $136.47, slightly negative 0.1% for the day. CLX is the instrument. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Let's get right into it here. All right, so on our previous post, we spoke of Clorox. The original lines are here, 144, 135, 129. I think at the po time of the post, the market was like $131, as you can see on the screen there. Three we prediction that the price would go up in between the ranges of 135 all the way up to 144. That came to fruition. Beautiful call within the three weeks. Well, which is that which isn't normally um, spot on, but it was okay. So we're currently short the Clorox market. We do see the wicks above the weekly candles bodies, which is what we were looking for. So we made the decision to bet against this up trending market. Please do not try this at home. This is not financial advice, but I've just outlined the or just kind of put a box on the wicks above the weekly candles. Uh, this, this is two successful weekly candles that you're looking at here with wicks above the candles bodies. Now, this is not set in stone that it will not continue higher. However, we are comfortable with the gestures in which it appears that the sellers are here and they're interested in moving the markets lower. Now, this is a midterm positions that we're structuring here. So we will be holding this for some time. OK, so I don't really have a time frame in which we'll be exiting the market. And it appears that our next price target will likely be the one hundred and twenty nine dollar level okay we actually have lower price targets but let's just kind of start there but at any moment you'll see if you ever see the price above 144 dollars then yeah we definitely would have to consider exiting our positions in this clorox market but so far so good and we're just going to play this one week by week let's give it another three weeks to see if clorox can make its way out of this range 135 up to 144 dollar range that we predicted it would at least go within followed by a continuation to the downside. All right, so let's see what happens and see if we can get some nice um, profits going on that Clorox positions that we currently have. All right, so that wraps up what we have for Clorox. Hopefully that was enough information. Now the next stock is actually Sprouts Farmers Market. Previous close was $83.63, sorry, $83.66, slightly positive close 2.4% for the day. Okay, SFM is the instrument. Now, the range of interest for us for a short position was and is $78 up to $80. So, obviously, that has not aged well for us. It's above the previous high, which is $82.75. So, it's likely we'll be trying to exit our positions with the least amount of pain possible here so hopefully next week or with the next three weeks we can get some sort of consolidating maybe some sort of pullback retracement you know whichever right it's the same uh, below this previous high which is at the blue line here at about 82.75 all right so hopefully we can get something <laughs> some we can exit our position with some dignity so that would be in between 80 dollars up to 82 dollars and 75 cents retracement exit and of course uh, see what happens after that. But I'm no longer interested in a, or at least accumulating a short position in the Sprouts market because it appears that there's a lot of momentum here, guys. These are both counter trend plays, which it's it's not smart to do this, okay? Just just to be honest with you. These are both perfectly intact uptrending markets. And it's, yeah. So that's what I have on Sprouts. Within the next three weeks, we're just looking for some sort of retracement Again, below the 82.75 level, preferably, may not happen, I'm not sure, let's just see what happens next week. And if we can get it in that range, then yes, we'll be getting out of this market. 
I don't have any bullish targets for now. If you did watch our previous post, hopefully we left a link in the video. We did make a successful call, beautiful call, on the Sprouts market, and it has played out, and we're not interested in any bullish targets for now. So that's pretty much all the information I have for the update on Sprouts. So hopefully that was enough. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. But that's going to wrap things up for this video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So if you don't mind doing me a huge favor before you go, by simply leaving an appropriate thumb, I'd appreciate it. On the video, if you enjoyed the content, and leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm can promote the video on the channel. Thank you for your continued support. If you guys are new, we also explore the alternative market, Bitcoin, Dogecoin for now. So you can kindly join us here on this interesting journey. And we'll send that out to you momentarily. Welcome in. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your time. Remember to always have a strategy before you enter the market. Keep that positive energy flowing. We'll talk soon and bye for now. And guys and gals.